What's up, YouTube? This is Vicente Gonzalez with the last fantasy football stardom soon for the 2017-2018 season. Um, some people have their football championships in the week 17, so this video is for them. So without ado, let's start. At quarterback, I say start Russell Wilson, Ben Roethlisberger, Blake Bortles, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Phillip Rivers, and sit Matt Ryan, Tyrod Taylor, Joe Flacco, Tom Brady, and Case Keenum. So one of the things I had to take into account was like uh, how close people were to their playoffs and uh, the people who were too close already, they didn't need to be started. Like so, like for instance, I wouldn't start Tom Brady, right? Because uh, if they start blowing him out real quick, and a lot of times it's not Tom Brady's doing, then I uh, they won't do well. They're not going to perform very long. So um, I say start Big Ben because uh, they're actually playing for the bye. If the the Patriots do bad and the Steelers win, then the then they get the bye. So Ben Roethlisberger is good because they're going to be playing hard like the whole game. Um, I also say start Jimmy Garoppolo because you know what, he's really good. He's He's been on a tear lately. He's won the last four or five games, I think, with San Francisco, however long he's been there, or he's been a starter. So I think he's kind of pretty good starter if you have uh, nobody else, or a starter that's sitting like Jared Goff. Um, yeah, so uh, also I say sit Matt Ryan because he's just not good anymore. He's not been consistent in throwing good uh, touchdown passes, so that's no good there. And uh, Case Keenum, I like him. I think he should be a starter but at the same time um he can disappear he cannot do things so i don't trust him for the championship i run it back i say start ezekiel elliott alex collins Devonta freeman cj anderson jamal williams and sit kareem hunt todd Gurley, jordan howard peyton barber and lamar miller now um, ezekiel elliott didn't have the best week last week but i think this week he's going to end the season on a bang they, they don't want to end it on a crappy note like they did last week um, and Alex Collins, he's a baller, and they're gonna. It's uh, Baltimore. They need to win this week to make sure they make it in the playoffs. So they're gonna be having Alex Collins run the ball a lot. Um, yeah, just a note: these two aren't playing. Kareem Hunt and Todd Gurley. They're the starters for teams that are pretty much already made the playoffs, so they're resting them. And uh, uh, Peyton Barber, although he's turned into that number one they want, um, I don't trust him this week going against New Orleans. I think New Orleans is gonna run up the score quite a bit, and San Jose won't be able to keep up. And uh, C.J. Anderson, I, I think, is kind of a sneaky start. People might have dropped him or something because he sucked. But last week, last two weeks, he's been doing pretty well. So um, I think he might be a sneaky start that I hope he wins. At wide receiver, I say start Keenan Allen, Mike Evans, Vikings receivers, Larry Fitzgerald, Jameson Crowder, and Juju Smith-Schuster. And sit Tyree Kill, Rams receivers, DeAndre Hopkins, Des Bryant, and Amari Cooper. Um, real quick, because I just want to get off my chest. I'm really mad about Des. Made me really mad last week. He, he complained about not getting the ball, but when he did get the ball, he fumbled or it went right through his hands. So don't start. I mean, they just need to end the season. He needs to have his season be done. Um, so good starts would be like Juju Smith-Schuster. He's that number one right there while Antonio Brown's gone. And if you need him for the championship, I mean, he's he's pretty good. And uh, Mike Evans, he, he he died a little bit during the middle of the season when Jameis Winston went out. They just He just wasn't the best. But now he, uh, Jameis is throwing really well lately. So I think he's a good start. Um, and DeAndre Hopkins, make note he's not playing. And the Rams receivers, because Jared Goff is not playing, they are, you, you can't trust any of them. I don't know how good Sean Mannion's going to be. And Tyreek Hill, just be wary. Just be wary because um, Alex Smith's not playing, Patrick Mahomes is. And uh, even if they start getting up ahead really quick, they'll even sit Tyreek Hill. So just be wary of that. At tight end, I say start Gronk, Jack Doyle, Eric Ebron, Ben Watson, Jimmy Graham, Antonio Gates. And Zach Ertz, I kind of started a few too many, but I just like some of them. And sit Travis Kelsey, Jason Witten, Greg Olson, Jared Cook, and Kyle Rudolph. Now, Kelsey's not playing. Zach Ertz is risky because I don't think they should play him. He's been kind of hurt as of late. And uh, if they get up, they're just going to put him away. So it's not the best start, I think. Um, Antonio Gates, ever since, uh, uh, what's his name? Hunter Garrett, uh, Hunter Henry went out. He has been doing. Uh, he's been doing all the work, and actually, he's become kind of a fantasy uh, sneak sneak play as of late. Um, and then Jimmy Graham. He hasn't caught too many balls lately, but at the same time, he he's caught touchdowns. Like last week, he caught a touchdown. Um, I think you have to play him at this point. And uh, Gronk. Now, I like Gronk this week because uh, the, the the New England Patriots are trying to keep that first round home field advantage, whole deal. Um, I think uh, at least for the first few quarters, Gronk's going to get some looks. And uh, Greg Olson, oh yeah, so Greg Olson, he sucked um, last week after that really good week before. Um, he's just not worth the risk at the moment. At defense, um, I say start Pittsburgh, 
Jacksonville, Baltimore, Minnesota, and Kansas City, and sit the New York Jets, Cleveland Browns, Tampa Bay Bucks, Chicago Bears, and Denver Broncos. And of course, these are all matchups. Um, the only one I might even be a little worried about is Jacksonville, because if Tennessee, Tennessee turns, over, turns the ball all over a lot, which is why I like the matchup, but um, the, time, the Titans are fighting for their playoff lives. They might be playing a little harder, whereas the Jaguars have already kind of made it. But at the same time, they might be pretty mad after last week's disappointment against Jimmy Garoppolo. I, it's a it's a good matchup, but it can turn sour. Just keep that in mind. Um, and the Kansas City Chiefs versus Denver. Um, Denver starting Patrick, Paxton Lynch. Um, that can be a turnover fest for Kansas City. Um, but other than that, yeah, just matchup plays. In conclusion, uh, if you're playing a championship, I, I just want you to know, just make sure you know who uh, some teams are resting. That's the only thing you really need to know, like Jared Goff's being rested. I think so is Todd Gurley and Aaron Donald, so that defense might get just a little bit of a downgrade, but it's no big deal. Um, uh, so yeah, if the Pats do start going out their opponents, they expect most of their starters to as well, so keep that in mind when starting them. Um, they could go out after halftime or something. So anyways, um, it's been really fun making these videos. Thank you all for those who have been watching. Um, I remember I'm going to take a little break after this weekend. Uh, I think I'm going to try to do something with the playoffs. Um, just talk about who I think is going to win, make some score predictions. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, Happy New Year. Good luck if you're in the, the championship this week.